time we met Beckett. Hey, Ori.
Good trade off. If I have to go back to using a pistol, I'll switch up to the pistol one. Good friend's name. <laughs> Come on. This what? What? Oh, no. Blood eagles. Ah, go? Don't like the eagle part. How about blood eagles? Yeah. <laughs> I like that better. Here go. Disappeared. Chapter 8. Chapter 8. Summoning right on the night of a full moon. Gather your fellows and sit around the effigy. Light the pyre and have all recite the following incantation as one. Oh, bright one, we bid thee. Follow this sacred flame with thy ever watchful eyes. See clear as day, this holy fire we burn in your honor like cattle to slaughter. We die for thee. Bid us welcome as we beckon thee with this divine lamp that we may be blessed by the air underneath thy wings. Knox should be returning soon with new masks. I couldn't get the rarest ones because it was just impossible. To have like romance 
for it. I don't know when, maybe a month or so away from now. Can't really trust the uh, release calendar schedule that they come out with. Good one, Becky. Ah, uh, he ran off, right? Yeah, he does that. But don't worry, like his beard. he'll find us when he wants to. But in the meantime, words come back from Edwin. Turns out recovering his sad little diary isn't going to be enough. So I thought of another idea find the stolen key to his weapons cache. Now that, and killing the traitor that took it, might be enough to flip him in our direction. Seems like Edwin is using us to do his dirty work. Yeah, I can't really disagree with you there, but see, we don't have much choice. There is no way we can take on the Blood Eagles alone. Why was his key stolen? Uh, someone from Edwin's gang decided they wanted out. Now, honestly, Edwin can get uh, pretty weird, so can't say I blame them. Anyway, this idiot thought stealing the key and then blaming it on a rival gang would cause all sorts of problems for Edwin. And, uh, they were right. Who stole it? Ah, some nobody who thinks they have it all figured out. I don't even know their name. Hell, I don't even want to know. I just want that key. Just tell me where to go. Consider it done. You do-gooders or something else. You know that, right? I'll be stuck here waiting for Edwin to make peace, so... Thanks for stepping up. Again. Why would this trader steal the key and not clear out the cache? The weapons cache isn't really the point. This traitor is clearly trying to goad Edwin's gang and a rival gang into a confrontation. Big mistake. How did you get all this information if Edwin hasn't even shown up yet? Uh, he wasn't interested in meeting with me just yet. Uh, he can't trust me. So, he sent someone from his gang, Ronnie. She accepted the journal on his behalf and said he'd meet me here at your place soon when he feels like it. She said I should wait for him. Alright, I'm gonna head out. Sounds good. And if you happen to find the traitor who stole the key, offing them might uh, be a good idea.
dream here. Just need to walk Slow there. Down. I'm on the far right.
kids living all the way up here. Thank you for the fetch quest. If I'd have known there was like nothing there, no NPCs, I would have just fast traveled right there. Pretty soon I'm gonna have to start doing the dailies. I haven't done any of them. Gotta be really careful so NP I don't die, so the NPCs don't take my weapons in the middle of missions. The key! Nice! Look at you, you're an animal! You know that? I, I, uh, you know, I mean that in a positive way, of course. Anyway, while you were gone, 
I reached out to Ronnie from Edwin's gang. And they want their key back, but they also want the traitor who stole it dead. The good news is, oh, we finally have a name for this genius. Bronx. <laughs> Cute, huh? This is a waste of time. I meant you to kill some blood eagles. <laughs> all right, all right. Slow down there, killer. If we want to take down the blood eagles, we need Edwin's help. And to get Edwin's help, we need him on our side. So we take it one step at a time, okay? How does Edwin feel about the blood eagles? Oh, they, uh, have a bit of a history. Edwin used to walk around with this giant fat cat perched on his shoulder. Right? He loved that cat. Well, I bet you can guess what the Blood Eagles did, right? <laughs> That's right. They stole his cat, skinned it, and cooked it for dinner. Then they sent the bloody pelt back to Edwin in a sack. <laughs> Classy, right? I'm gonna kill this guy. All the blood eagles just for killing his cat. What's Ronnie's deal? Well, Edwin's her uncle. And someday when he kicks it, the gang goes to her. But the truth is, she's been leading that gang for years already. Having a tentative agreement with her is almost better than having a true handshake with him. Consider Bronx dead. You got it. I bet there's a stash around there, too. So keep your eye out. You want a drink before you head out? Or what? Hear anything from Sage yet? Not yet. He's, uh... A free spirit. I love him dearly. But, uh... Dependability, mindfulness... This plane of existence... Yeah, not his thing. Why is Edwin so desperate to have Bronx killed? Edwin's had numerous setbacks with his gang lately. I see it's one of the bigger, low-key raider gangs around, but he's shedding respect. And making an example out of Bronx should help him put his house back in order. Alright, sit tight. I'll take care of this. Ooh, I kinda like this. I got the bigger plan, I find the pieces, you execute them. I feel like some sort of mastermind. Okay, if they don't give me some account I can get rid of right now. After a couple of dozen Gauss rifles disassembled, I'll have enough for a good gun. Let's go to the overlook and just go down there. 
this was an obvious spot. I thought the people were going to move in for a settlement. The only thing you see is Crater stealing some of the games and some of the park equipment. <laughs> Yes. I'll kill you. Where are you at? grenades. I don't have 15 plasma grenades. I can't get up. Help me out.
Cultist? I'm sure she, <laughs> Unless it's cultist or they actually they cull people. Mind's eye. The cathode ray tube is the retina to the mind's eye. Break out of your cocoon. Spread your wings. Embrace his gift. See through his eyes. And you will ascend! Gravity means nothing. Crusades mean everything. Seems to be quite a few Mothman preachers. Oh, here's another one. Chapter 8. Cryptid 
That's it. Back to Beckett. Edwin now. business. Oh. Sage is here. Shh. The party's almost ready to begin. Let me know if I'm in your... Oh, there you are, Sage. How you feeling, pal? No time to chit-chat, Beckett. Oh, I see you found a friend. Here for the party? Nah, there's no party, buddy. My friend was the one who freed you. You remember? Remember? Yeah, sure. I saw it first, felt it last. Good times. <gasps> oh, we're gonna need more cake. It's gonna be, it's gonna be difficult getting any useful information from someone clearly under the influence of Kim's. I know he looks completely hopeless, but I promise you, it was worth springing him out of that place. Sage? Buddy? Pal? Friend? Can you hear me? Hey, I need your help. Now we're taking down the Blood Eagles. All of them. Now to do that, we need to cut off the head. You get me? No, 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 no. Not the head. Cut out the heart, the supply, at the cave, the cave, ooh, spooky, cave, 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 <laughs> hmm. Okay, the cave, got it, and Sage, you better come back later for the other questions, okay, and try to drink some coffee or something, you're killing me here, huh? Thanks, uh, for letting me crash here for a bit. Ronnie is gonna be thrilled to hear the Betrayer is also dead now. Uh, no thank you. He's been through a lot, hasn't he? He has. Um, 
I don't even know his full story, honestly, but, uh, well, he is useful. Nah, he's always been able to help me out. He just, uh, you know, sees things differently. Okay, look, if we want to take out the Blood Eagles, we need to cut off the supply before we cut off the head. Now, the cave is where the Blood Eagles store their supply of buff out. And without it, well, it'd be harder to convert new members. I doubt the buff out they're using is pure. They must have modified it somehow. Psycho buff? Huh. Yeah. I hadn't thought of that. You know, come to think of it, the pills they force-fed me did look a little strange. <laughs> I am glad I'm off that shit, that's for sure. So I suppose Sage isn't that crazy after all. No, he's not crazy. Just misguided and burned out. That's what messing with all these cults will do to you. I know what this means, but this is for other people that don't know what cut, cut the head off means. See, the Blood Eagles are led by three vicious maniacs. The Blood, the Eye, and the Claw. And when I say maniacs, I'm, uh, I'm being polite. Just give me the details. I'll do it. Oh, wait. Is there more options? No. I bet you want a drink as well, right? Free one. On the house. Sorry, uh, no alcohol in the free ones. Will Sage be back? Maybe. I hope so. It's hard to know what he considers to be important to the rest of us, but, well, I think he will. I know what this means, but why the, our character's asking this with low, in, this is a low intelligence question. How does cutting the supply help us hurt the blood eagles? See, regular blood eagles aren't the problem. They're the symptom. I mean, yes, they're terrible, but the three bosses are clearly building an army. As they increase the doses of buff out, the addicted become worse, uh, more violent, more terrible. We have to put a stop to that. Give me something refreshing. You got it, friend. You got it. Of course. Having a good one, I hope. I'm supposed to be free. Lie to me. You might as well rest up before you head out again. Hmm? Alright. Find the buff out in the scary cave. You've got a great place here. episode here we come back we'll get the buff out supply thanks for watching